Hey guys, it's Waluigi Walkthroughs here again, and I'm actually feeling a little bit better. I don't know if you can tell from the way I'm sounding when I'm talking or anything, but I know for a fact that I'm feeling a whole lot better than yesterday. Yeah, I just decided to like save from the last level and then just take a break, and then come back and start up Chapter 1-3. Yeah. The Sands of Yold. This is a pretty cool level, I enjoy it. Did old men watch it say something about there being some ruins around here? The pure heart can be far now. Alright. Alright, I know for a fact that there's gotta be some secret blocks hidden somewhere in this level. I'm sure of it. It can't be in the last level, it has to be in this level. I know it. it has to be real. It has to happen. Anyway, in the last part, we got Throw. So now let's actually show off what he can do. And we got the Peachy Peach. Nice. 10 HP and cures poison. And now we can grab his coconuts. Oh, I grabbed that coconut. Here we go. Haha. <laughs> Killed you with a cone coconut. Yes, I know they're rocks, but this is a speed flower. Templar speeds up time. You also earn triple points and coins while you're in it. The problem with this thing is it's really hard to maneuver Mario. Oh, look, it's a zombie mushroom. Nope, oh, come here. I'm gonna kill this guy and I'm gonna get triple coins. Yeah. That's awesome. Alright. Oh, would you look at that? Here's a bald cleft. Okay, wow. Yeah, Mario was on speed or something. That's... Well, anyway, um, so let's get a bio on this guy. That's a bald cleft. You might confuse this rock hard foe with a rock. So this guy's a defensive two, and unfortunately our attacks are not strong enough to actually deal any damage to this guy. So what we want to do is we can actually get rid of them by throwing them at other bald clefts. Pretty cool, right? Yeah. But anyway, in the last part we got Thoreau, and Thoreau is pretty cool, so, yeah. Also, we just got a squig card, so I think we can now kill those guys in, like, one hit now, I think. Anyway, let's grab this bald cleft and throw him at his own buddy. Yep. They killed each other. Isn't that terrific? In this game, friends can kill friends. Yeah, that's horrible. Oh, would you look at this? This is a boom boxer. Yeah, we actually picked up a catch card for this, or I mean, not a catch card, but a, what do you call it, an enemy card for it in the last level, so we finally found one. This is an interesting enemy, it's a dragon-like monster called the Jawbiss. So, the point of these guys is if you actually try to tag them from the front, they're gonna like grow like a dragon head, so you want to hit them from behind on their little glowing tail. It's pretty obvious, but the only way you can actually get around them is by... Well, basically, um, well, by flipping the 3D and then walking around them, yeah. So you can pretty much avoid most enemies by flipping to 3D, but we will encounter some enemies that can flip between 3D and 2D. And those enemies are special because, well, no matter what you do, they're going to try to attack you and try to get you. Actually, there they are, if you can see them in the distance. Alright. Here's a new enemy, and this is a Churbol. It's a nasty gas bag that spews up Pluma's Sleepy Gas. Max HP 2, attack is 2. So these guys, they shoot these little puffs of gas. If you get hit by them, you're gonna have status afflictions. And unlike in Su on Paper Mario and Paper Mario 2, your status afflictions, you can get rid of them as soon as you are afflicted by it. So anyway, we have some inter interdimensional flipping Goombas. And I don't know if you can hear it, but when you flip back, they flip back with you. Like that, yeah. But of course, these are only Goombas, they're not that difficult. But we will encounter some pretty bad enemies that can flip between dimensions. Let's get rid of the Boom Boxer. Oh, we got a Keel Mango. Wow, I have no idea how... Ah, man, I have so many items right now. So, we need to actually be in this area. Um... Oh, an item! I didn't even notice that there was an item here. And I think that bald cleft just killed himself, too. Yeah, these enemies are really smart, guys. Alright, so what we want to do is actually, before we lose some health, we want to... well, actually, who cares? I'm going to take the damage. So you can see this rock is pointing this way, and if you go over here, which you actually are required to, if you're playing the game for the first time, yeah, I, yeah you should, but uh, I just want to show this. If you go all the way over here, I know it's a long walk. 
we get this little sign thing that says, The old signpost, find ye the tall red palm tree of fortune and leapeth under its branches ten times. Alright, and if you are kind of confused right now, don't be, um, actually we passed a red palm tree, um, only one room ago. So what we want to do is we want to head back over this way. Ugh, it takes a while. But anyway, flip back. So we want to head all the way back. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a trek. I mean, but I mean, at least I'm here to show you guys what to do. I mean, I remember my first time playing, I was like, I saw a red palm tree somewhere, but I don't remember where it was. And I literally walked around for like five minutes trying to find a red palm tree. When in fact, the red palm tree was actually very close to where I was, and here it is. Yeah, so you just want to walk back, jump ten times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. And by doing that, a door appears. Yeah, you would have ever guessed. So if you're actually playing this and you don't want to go all the way there, then just jump under the tree ten times. You don't actually need to read the sign in order to trigger the event. You just... It's just automatically programmed to do that, so... I mean, if you want to save some time, you can just avoid that completely, but there are some good items back there. So over here... Nope, no secret blocks. I'm telling you, there are secret blocks somewhere in this world. Anyway, let's get rid of this guy. Awesome, we can get rid of Squig now without any trouble. So, um, up here is a Squiglet, dang it. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, let's flip back. Now we want to jump up here. Let's grab this. And now we're going to ride this little... I don't know what to call it. A little... I have no idea actually what to call it at all. I mean, awesome, we just leveled up. Now I think we're at level 3 or level 4, I can't remember. Oh dang it, this is a... Dang... Oh, come on. You want to kill those zombie shrooms, because they do give you quite a bit of experience points, especially if you're like in slow-mo or in fast-mo, you just want to do that. But anyway, you if you want to, you can go into 3D and cross this without actually falling into the quicksand, but you won't actually die if you fall into the quicksand in, in 2D, you can just jump around through it. But anyway, so what we want to do is we want to head up here, and now using Thoreau, hit this block, and this will cause these little block elevators to move. Yep, so now we're already using Thoreau for some puzzles besides uh, action. Oh, dang it. Oh, we got another Shroom Shake. Jeez, I have so many health recovery items right now. I have no need to go to a store. Yeah, I was actually planning on going to a store, but anyway. Um, okay, so over there is a Spike Goomba. What we want to do is actually head up this way. And carefully jump. Carefully. Please don't fall. There we go. You want to head down this pipe. And this is not required, but it's a nice room to go through before you head off. So over here, as you can clearly see, there are in 3D, actually another row of um, question blocks up here. So um, I'm going to try to do as fast as possible because I'm going to take some damage soon. Alright, let's wait for the meter to fill up. But in one of these blocks is actually a Super Mushroom. A Super Mushroom will give you automatically 20 HP. Dang it, I took health. Oh, look, right, it's right there. So if you do that, you get 20 HP back, and you also get 1,000 um, experience points. Actually, yeah, I'm glad that I took the damage before I collected that, because um, it's a very helpful item if you find any of those. Especially before we head into the store, so you want to save. Make sure you save. I mean, I don't really, I don't really need to save, but if you are, if you are cautious, then I would save because we are about to fight someone. So you are the lad sticking his stash in my boss's business. Yeah, I'm gonna try the voice again. Pardon for the atrocity of how bad this voice is. <laughs> or my impersonation is. You shouldn't have crossed the count. Now I'm gonna have to get chunky on ya. You, you're one of Count Black's thugs, aren't you? Oh, Chunks is me name. And I'm no common thug, lass. I thug for the Count of Counts, Count Black himself. One word from me, Blacky boy, and I come to make ya feel some homage. Homage. Hey, make that damage. 
Haha, <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Whatever then, not that it matters, pinch a stew in the sandstorm, you're a goner! What? Do you know, do you even know what Count Black is trying to do? Yeah, this guy doesn't even make sense. Duh. Me boys using powers and whatnot to bring back some order to this weird world. An enemy of Black be an enemy of mine, they'll get chunked. What does it even mean to get chunked? I don't even know what a chunking is. I never even heard of a chunking. Enough is enough already. It's time to thunder down from it high and then deliver in a beating of the ages. Chunk on it! Alright. So let's get a buy on this guy. This is Oh Chunks. He's big bearded warrior of a man. HP is 20. Attack is 1. He can grab you by the feet and throw you. And if you're in reach, he'll toss you, so keep your distance. Alright, so we can actually use Thoreau to grab him, and when you grab him, you become stunned and you can jump on him. Beware of getting actually too close to him because he will reach and grab you, as Tippy said, and if he does grab you, you're gonna, um, not necessarily take a lot of damage, but like that, he almost grabbed me. He also has a charge attack, but I don't think I'm ever going to let him really attack me, unless he jumps on me. So, yeah. Oh man, he's getting close. He always keeps on trying to grab me. I don't want even to- I don't- It's like I don't even understand why he wants to like grab you. It's like he's- I don't know, it's like- it's kind of weird. But this guy, he's- he's actually not that hard. Um, I mean for your first time- look, I already beat him. Um, for your first time you might get a little confused because the boss battles, um, they are fast paced. So you want to be on your guard at all times. Be careful. Definitely be careful, but I clearly had a lot of recovery items, and I don't even need them, so, I mean, that being said, this guy's, this guy's a piece of cake. But he's not the, he's not gonna be the last time we're gonna see him. Yeah, so he thinks our name is Maria. <laughs> you remember this, Maria? If you didn't look like such a wee toddler, I wouldn't have taken it so easy on ya. But hey, I have to give it up for your effort, so let's call it a tie. I don't want to call it a tie, I want to win. I won you, I beat you. I won you, yeah, I want him, I'm going to take him. And he tells us to um, shave our mustache, because we're a female, yeah, that's hilarious. And this is weird, this guy, look what he, look how he runs away from us. Yeah, he's pulling a Wario on us, um. But by leaving, he pulls up the door. Yeah, and Tippy's like, what is he even saying? I don't even know what he's saying. Alright, are there any secrets in this room? Guess not. Awesome. So that's actually our very first boss battle. It's more like a mini-boss, but whatever. So what we, wa what we want to do is, actually, um... We want to head over this way. I know there you can go to the right, but you actually want to go to the left first. Alright. Because up here is a door. Go through the door. And now we are going to head all the way to the left and find this little statue. But I think there are some secret blocks over here. Holy crap, I am right. I told you guys, I told you guys it's in this level. Alright, so now that I've actually, now that I've figured it out that the blocks are there, this guy is going to say, Perchy atop the distance is a signpost. And he's going to tell us that only the hero can go over to his side and see this. So what you want to do is go 3D and press minus and 1 at some time to make something happen. So keep that in mind. Um, this puzzle actually took me a while to figure out, but you want to go into 3D and read that. I mean, you don't have to go over here, but I'm just showing that you can go over here and do all this stuff. Anyway, the there are some interdimensional Goombas. I don't even know what they're called. I mean, I could do a bio on them, but it's just faster to just kill them. Over here is an item. What is this? this? Is a ghost room. Summons a ghost room to snack on your enemies. Um, I've actually never used a ghost room ever in this game. And I have some pretty good items right now as it is. So let's just get rid of the ghost room. It's not that all. It's not really necessary to keep it. So over here, we have... That's an ice turbo. It's a nasty gas bag that spews out plumes of ice. So it's basically like the regular turbo, but if you get hit... Oh, dang it, I thought I was crouching. Yeah, if you get hit, you're going to be frozen, so you need to shake as fast as you can in order to prevent... Um, or at least get free of your freezing status. I mean, it's a cool mechanic. I actually like the ailments in this game more than the ailments in the other Paper Mario games, because they're, they're pretty cool. I mean... Oh, how did he even hit me? 
I mean, I can never actually go fast enough to, like, prevent one damage of the ice. Um, I can- I always will just get one damage, but whatever. So now we want to head up this way. Alright, these elevators, they could move faster, but, I mean, whatever. So, if you want to head over through this way, this is actually where you need to go, but over here... Actually, are we at the end of the level? Um, yeah, we are. So, what you want to do is, remember that last signpost that said press minus and one at the same time to make something happen? So, when you go all the way over here, there is a blue pedestal, press those two buttons, and... This happens. Yeah. So you actually need to know that button combination in order for you to actually finish the level. I think on the pedestal also says, like, uh, somewhere in the distance of the desert is, like, another signpost. It'll tell you what to do. But anyway, we'll see you guys in 1-4. Bye.